Hello and welcome to this video. As you might have seen in this video, a new course is coming next week. The course is about React. So we thought it's a good point in time to have a little interview with the creator of the course, Max, in this video. Let's start. So Max, uh, why React? That's a great question. So React is a topic which was requested a lot both here on YouTube and on uh, by my Udemy students. And React obviously also is a super important JavaScript library as a lot of huge companies use it like Netflix, of course, Facebook, the creators of React and so on. So React is also a library which is missing in my course collection, if you put it like that. I got a course on Vue, got a course on Angular. Now I also got a course on React and I do work with React. I do have projects in React and that is why I thought, yeah, it might make sense to also release a course on that. Got that. I think it makes sense, but the question I have and maybe also some of the viewers is, if I think back some months ago, well, there was kind of a video where I had the impression and probably some other people that React is not your favorite, I would say, if you compare it with Angular yeah. and Vue. How do you think about that now? Yeah, that that's a, a point which I think I might have not expressed perfectly in that video. Um, the thing I don't like about React or I like better in other frameworks like Vue is Working with JSX, which we work with in React, is, is cool and it's okay, and we use everything as JavaScript. That paradigm has a lot of advantages. But personally, I prefer using HTML, CSS in the way we always used it, to put it like that. And that is why I like Vue better, why for my own projects I use a lot of Vue.js, that's true. But that doesn't mean that I don't work with React, that it would be a bad library, or that I don't like it. It's just I prefer Vue. But again, that doesn't mean I don't like React. So I work a lot with React. I created a course about it. Yeah, fair enough, I think. But it's good to know that because, like I said, if you create a course, then it's good to know that you well, you like the, the topic yeah, you talk obviously. about. That's, so, that's really obvious, yeah. Yeah, and that, that is important to me. So if I release a course on something, it is a topic I work with and I like. So I don't release a course on anything I don't like or... Uh, which I don't use at all. Yeah. So that that's important because obviously I want people to learn and people can only learn if I know what I'm teaching. Makes total sense. And I mean, I had kind of had to watch the course, as you can imagine. Yeah. And I must say, it's, it's a really complete course. And in the course, you see that you like React, that this is something that becomes really obvious. So, But I think it's good to share that because otherwise people might have wrong expectations or something like that. Ab absolutely, absolutely. And as you say, it is a very complete course. There's a lot of content in there. Um, it's super long, but it covers everything from the very basics. Yeah. So you don't have to know any React to get started with it. But then we dive deeply into React, also in more advanced topics like advanced Redux usage, yeah. uh, authentication, a lot of features, a lot of concepts you need in a lot of React apps which are not covered in other courses or which are briefly glimpsed over. And that was important to me. This course really is for everyone, for newcomers and also for you if you already got some React experience. So I wanted to put a lot of focus on that. Yeah. I think this is something that you can see in the course. And there's also an amazing app I have to say that you build. It's the Burger Builder. And I must say, you will see it. I think we put a video right here. Right now, I think it makes sense. So you can see, you can add ingredients and you can see how this app evolves throughout the course. And yeah. this is something that's really great because you get a nice looking app and a nice working app. And this is also something that I thought was really good, but really cool actually, because, well, you, you have kind of a feedback on what you're doing, yeah. not just some boring app where you say, okay, I will never use that. Yeah, I have to say it's one of the coolest apps yeah. uh, I ever built in my courses. Uh, the Burger Builder is a great app because we use a lot of the things we, we learn in the course, we can apply it to it. And it's fun to build it because it's something different. It's not your traditional to-do list like app, which you build in a lot of courses or projects. So. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed building that, and I think that it makes it easier to learn React if you build an application which is actually fun to use. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And as you said, it's, it's a big course and it's a complete course, I think. And so it's also, if you are new to React or something, this is something that could be like, whoa, that's a lot of content, how should I do that? But I think it's, you get a nice guidance and a step-by-step -step guidance. So you, you dive step-by-step -step into React and by that you get all the tools you need yeah. to well, kind of build this app. And because you have not just one app, you have multiple different apps. So yeah. kind of practicing apps, I would say, which are like there to show you the basic concept. And then in the Burger Builder, you really have the big project where you apply what you know and or what you learned and where you dive even deeper. That's basically something that I found really interesting in the course. Yeah, and that's how I like to structure my, my complete guide courses that I, I have a lot of smaller 
not that realistic apps where I can really focus on certain topics, which I can quickly show there and where I can really put the focus on that, which is sometimes hard if you want to build a real app because then you don't need to cover all aspects of routing or all aspects of Redux. But then I want to show a real app too, and that is why I come up with a with an app like the Burger Builder in this course, which, which is really um, yeah. using a lot of concepts. And I think that's actually the, the main information about the course, right? So we now know why you choose React, what about the course yeah. content, so what you learn, and also about the audience. So basically everyone who loves coding, who likes frameworks, and also libraries now with React. And with that, there is one other point that we would like to talk about, and that's the pricing, actually. Yeah. Would you like to share some things about that? Because we thought a lot about that because, well, we can say that the course is the biggest course ever released. And because of that, we thought it's time to think about the pricing. And because of that, we have two different approaches. Yeah. So what's the idea behind pricing? Um, obviously, we, we always shared discount codes, discount links in our video descriptions for all the courses I got we created. So... That, of course, is going to stay. The, the course has a price on Udemy, and if we're honest, you rarely pay that price. Um, you, you regularly get some discounts, and we will keep that tradition. Uh, we'll release a course trailer once the course comes out or once we publish and advertise it, so that will be next week. And probably first, if we can say that. Yeah, um, probably around first day. That's the plan, but that's not entirely under yeah. our control because we have to go through the review process from Udemy's side. Yeah. But that's the plan. And when this trailer is out, there will be a link in the video description, as always, which will give you the course for 12 US dollars. And then there will be some conversion rates automatically applied by Udemy for other currencies. Yeah. And that, that, that's the pricing we offer. But we will offer an alternative price for 10 US dollars via our webpage, academine.com, if you sign up to the newsletter there. Yeah. And now we don't want you to sign up so that we can spam you. And that's really important to us. The idea behind getting you to sign up to the newsletter is that we got a lot of plans for next year, content-wise, on our webpage. We'll revamp the webpage and we plan on making the newsletter more than just an advertisement channel. We want to really make it a newsletter, not just advertising news about courses, but interesting stuff in general to you. So that is the additional benefit you get and you also get the course for $10. That's the idea. And as Max said, it's going to be up around but first you probably. So if you sign in until the point of time the trailer gets released, then you will get an email with the link where you get the course for $10. And we think that is the well easiest approach that you can have. So you can choose between the $12 alternative by just clicking to the link below the trailer then, or that newsletter sign up. As Max said, it's really easy, academy.com. Click on the newsletter and then that's it actually. And well, I think with that, we basically got everything we wanted to say, right? So yeah. we talked about the course, about the pricing. Do you have anything else you want to share? No, I think I'm really excited to release the course. I think we got a very fair pricing model. We won't spam you, as I said. Um, the course is awesome, has a lot of content, has a nice application. Would be great to welcome you there, obviously. It's the biggest course we or I, but Manuel uh, contributed to the course a lot by doing all the cutting and all the behind the scenes work. So we ever released. And yeah, we can't wait to welcome you in the course, I'd say. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, we hope you have fun with the course and hope to see you there. And with that, well, trailer coming next week, sneak peek coming next week, course coming next week. A lot so, of stuff coming. Yeah, lots of stuff coming next week. So, yeah, thanks for your support. We have to say that, I think, because it's still, it's awesome to see that the channel keeps growing and that, well, you kind of seem to like the content. Yeah, definitely. And with that, well, bye. Yeah, bye.